I'm sorry, I didn't hear it. I don't think you answered my question. Go ahead and say your name for me. Come on. Come on, I know you're an adult. Just say it. Just fucking meet you here. Come on, say it. All right, then. Keep your secrets. It's a wonderful day for a quarantine. A time to reflect and look inward. What did we do? What have we done? How'd it come to this? I used to sing. I used to go out with my friends and sing and dance the night away. I miss my friends. Do you ever miss your friends? You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to check in on my friends right now. We'll start with my little brother. He and his family live in a cabin in the woods, so they even get to go outside, so long as they stay in the boundaries. Aaron, you there, little brother? How you holding up? Kill me. Well, I'm sure he'll get the hang of it. There's one person I know who can stay up beating a crisis. It's my friend Jen. Jen, you there? How about, uh, how about Justin in Ohio? Oh, fuck. I don't know. Let's, uh, play a film, I guess. If your parents were home, would they want you playing such a violent video game? That's a great question, Tanner. Well, too often today, America's youth are corrupted by cartoons and video games. Just like this one. Who are you guys? How did you get into my house? That's not important, Toby. What's important is that you learn some good, wholesome values before it's too late. I'm afraid it's a lesson you won't find in some video game. You see, kids, values, or morals, come from God. Only He can tell us what's right from wrong. You see, Toby, each of us must do his part to spread real values around before evil, like the stuff in your video games, takes over the whole world. Right you are, Mitch. One time, mankind strayed so far from the righteous path that God was forced to do the only thing he could. Visit each person one by one and teach them the error of their ways using love and patience? No, silly. He drowned them all. Well, almost all of them. God spared Noah and his family so that they could start humanity anew. When the rain stops, we will spend our days following the good book to a T. We'll worship constantly, kill every homosexual or person who works on a Sunday, and make sure we never beat our slaves so badly they die from it. Mankind will finally be the kind, noble race our God intended us to be. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Mr. Noah, there the are people down there. We gotta help them. The Lord was very clear, Toby. You wouldn't dare abandon your moral principles to help a few drowning women and children, would you? Uh, sorry, Noah. The video games have rotted his judgment. They are right, my child. Do not be led astray. Only the Lord can say what's truly moral. You gotta help those people, Toby! These are people's lives we're talking about! Please! Some of them are too young to understand. I mean, why should they suffer? It isn't right! It's not about who you worship, or what skin color you have, or who you love, or what day you work on. It's about togetherness. It, it's about taking care of each other. It's about compassion! Great shot, Tanner! Thanks, Mitch. Yes. Thank you for destroying that horrible demon before he poisoned our young friend's mind with his wicked words. Don't thank me, Noah. Doing the right thing is a reward in and of itself. Well, that's our show, kids. 
We hope our lesson helps guide you to a better, more moral tomorrow. Till next time, bye. <laughs> bye now. When I get sad and lonely, I like to eat a lot of sweets. <laughs> I just want to go outside. <laughs> I'll tell you something. I know a guy. Guy goes outside all the time. He brings me stories, all kinds of weird shit that's going on out there. I'll tell you what. Why don't we check in on him now? My name is Dracovus Finn. And I am an observer. My demon blood prevents the coronavirus from doing me harm. But due to my advanced age and a life of questionable sexual decisions, I remain in poor health nonetheless. <laughs> when my dear friend Larry asked me to report my findings of the outside world, it was a task I did not take lightly. Illness or not, I have a job to do, and I'm determined to do it. Thus far, the outside world is quite bleak. Parks are closed. Streets remain empty. If ever the sounds of children's laughter once echoed through this city, they echo no more. Today, I watched as a pack of wild dogs turned on their weakest member. As I watched these regressed beasts lose all sense of unity or kinship, I came to understand that we are truly alone in this world. I realized that friendship is a luxury, and if there had ever been a god, he was now dead. Back to you, Larry. Well, uh, I guess that's all for our show today. Uh, I'll be back again next week. And every week after that. The thing is, I, I plan on sticking around. Either until this thing finally passes or until I finally decide to.